Hey guys, Todd here um, with Real Truck. I just wanted to show you guys something and point something out that people are having issues with with their Mavericks uh, when they put a tonneau cover on there and they get a little bit of water intrusion. Um, I want to go over that with you real quick. First off, just real quick disclaimer, no cover, no tonneau cover is gonna be 100% waterproof. Um, it's just not gonna happen. Um, but what we can do is we can reduce the amount of water that can kind of leak through or get past seals. So let me show you some places on the Maverick that you want to pay attention to and some supplemental things that you can do that a lot of covers aren't necessarily going to give you that can help you out to keep water out of the bed of your truck or keep it in a place where it's not going to mess with anything. So let me go ahead and flip this around and talk about that. Okay, so here is the bed of your Maverick. Now I've got my stuff pulled out so I can show you guys what I have done um, and, uh, and some things to look out for. So number one, up here at the bulkhead, one thing I want to point out with a Maverick that's different from other trucks is that there's no separation between the bed and the cab. So uh, most other trucks, if you got a cover that's here and water rolls off the end of the cover onto the bulkhead, uh, if you got a bulkhead seal, there's only one way it can go, and that's towards the cab and then rolls off the edge of the, the, the bulkhead and goes between the bed and the, and the cab, not into the bed. There's no separation here. So if it starts to pool up, there's only one way it can go, and that's into the bed. It can't go that way. Um, now, when we go down over here to this corner, this actually kind of drops down a little bit. Uh, so if you notice, I've got my bulkhead seal, and that bulkhead seal, all it is, it's, it's about a quarter inch tall. Um, all that does is it kind of creates a little bit of a dam. So whenever water runs off the front edge of the cover and you know collects up here, it, it will collect and kind of run along here and then find the low spot and then run out. So you can kind of see where it drops down here and then runs down. And then if you can kind of see a little bit of that water tracking that's there where that's kind of like a lighter color, that's where water drips down and it kind of goes down here and kind of collects. You can kind of see where it's a little bit lighter right here. And it just kind of collects into here and then drips down, so on and so forth. This is actually where I was looking at trying to find a solution for something, but I'm just going to cover that up again real quick. Uh, but yeah, water will kind of pool up and collect right here, drips down. Once it gets down here, guys, there's tons of places down here where water will actually escape and evacuate out of the bed of the truck. That's a great big gap that's opened up. You got little holes uh, all along here, these low spots in the ridges tons of weep holes so every ridge has a weep hole to let water out of the bed of the truck all the way along here it, it, it can uh, weep out you got a weep hole up here yes yeah, so there are plenty of places where water can escape out of the bed where it's not in with all of uh, your your cargo and all that where you don't want it um, but that's one place i'm actually working on a solution to be able to route any kind of stuff that drips out of here and routed out of the bed that's why i had this pulled out because i'm thinking about designing something to make a little drain tube that goes to here but anyway once i get that i'll make a video on that um, another thing that you want, really want to focus on and this is a bigger problem much bigger problem in my opinion is this place right here so um, i've got a piece of seal it's actually the same seal material that i've got here i've got that placed right here. Uh, so your bed cap is in two pieces, right? So this piece goes up against your you know, your, your cab, um, and then it uh, kind of marries to this piece right here. This actually kind of, um, I can't remember which side overlaps. So yeah, this, this side actually overlaps this side over here. Um, and so what I did is I put a piece of compressible seal right along here, because if you've got a cover um, that, that pushes against either the inside or the top, it's going to create a gap underneath and between uh, the, the rail of your cover and your bed cap. Um, and so that is definitely a water intrusion point. And when water drips straight down from here, it's going to hit down on top of your wheel arch and kind of you know have a lot more chance of splashing kind of into your bed onto your cargo. So I just took a little piece of seal um, and, th and this I'll tell you guys is not going to be as uh, good as using just like some some silicone or some RTV. 
uh, because this right here, I got it as, you know, it, it just it just happened to fit in that slot. And whenever you push something against there, it kind of compresses a little bit and makes a little bit better seal. But I still will get a few drips and all that that come down and land uh, down into here uh, whenever I get a heavy rain. Um, it does slow it down quite a bit, but it's not perfect. I'll probably eventually pull that out and um, put in uh, like uh, either some uh, sealing material like, like a putty uh, and then press that in uh, to where I can make a seal that way or just use some RTV or silicone and seal that off there. But this is definitely a spot where water can come in. And something else to point out is that your bed cap comes over and then it goes up to the outside. So if you've got a cover that's sitting on top of here, water's running off the side of the cover, you've kind of got a dam that's going across here now, right? And so where is that water gonna go? It's not gonna go that way, it's gonna go this way down into the bed of your truck. So keeping a nice tight seal along here uh, is gonna be key, uh, especially when you get those heavy rains or those just long, um, slow drizzles where water just kind of wicks and goes, uh, you know, uh, you know, underneath the cover or underneath your seals or around your seals, that sort of thing. But, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, number one, seal off this spot right here. Number two, make sure you have a good uh, bulkhead seal uh, that actually fastens to your bulkhead itself. Um, you know, if you've got something like the Gator SFX or something like that that sits on top of the bulkhead. Um, water can wick underneath there a little bit and run down to the front side. Um, I like to try to channel everything to the corners to get it out that way. Um, so guys, I hope you found that to be helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up. Uh, seals like this, you can get at your local hardware stores and all that. But, uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions.